Welcome at tutorial number 60 of the EEP10 model railway simulator. In the previous video we started to work on an attempt to find a universal control method for EEP layouts to automate them and protect them. And in this video we're going to have a look at the second of the uh, two control methods that we need, the single track protection. And the first method that we uh, saw in the previous video was the random in and random out uh, control system. Uh, that was uh, when one train is going to enter a multi-track station, it has to find a free lane, that is a random in. Or if an empty track uh, requests a new train, uh, then we have to pull out a random train out of a other station. That is a random in random out control and today in this video we are going to look at the single track protection which is a train from north to south and another train from south to north have to use the same piece of track. Obviously we need to take care that they never get onto that track at the same time. Let's have a look at EEP. Uh, here we are, this is the track that we are going to use. We have two lanes north and two lanes south, but I switched them such that uh, the trains can always enter only on one track, so on these tracks they will never collide. And what we have been building here is a control system. We have a single lane here on on the west side, so this is the single track control west and this is our single track control east. As you can see it is quite a simple control, this is what I call a pillar control, it has two pillars and also this one has two pillars. We could use two control mouses but why should we? Uh, I just virtually connected them so we can use one mouse to control both. Well, what is happening? Let's have a look at a, a different view. This one, for instance. This um, we should, of course, not start to use these uh, signals manually. Control these signals manually because that will mess up things. When we want to release a train, or in, in, an, in another situation, when you want to do it full automatic, you have to send a request to your single lane protection. And how does the single lane protection work? Well, our mouse is running into both pillars. This is the pillar for north and this is the pillar for south. And the request is done by activating the branch. As you can see, the mouse is now going into the pillar, but it is leaving just upward, uh, leaving that pillar again. So if I want to uh, send this train from north on the single track, it will, uh, I will give it a request and that request is over here. Yeah, so let me do that now and you will see that now the mouse is going in a branch and the branch takes care of a few things which we will look in a second. I can now request the train from south to north but as you can see the single track is occupied which means that these bottom switches take care that the mouse is not going into the pillars anymore. And only if the end of the train is over here, there is a signal that switches this uh, free again. As you can see, it will happen any second right now. Yes, and now the mouse can go in the pillar and it will release this train. So in this way, uh, it all works neatly coordinated and no two trains can be on the same track as long as you send all the requests to the single track control. So, well, let's just have another look at the other camera and do it one more time. And then we will look into the uh, sensors that are inside of these branches. Okay, I will send the train from north to south first this time. Yes, it can go on. I will request 
uh, the other train over here but as you can see nothing happens because the track is not free only if the end of this train is over here on track 2 then this uh, bottom switches will be set the other way again and then the pillars can be checked and the other train will go yes that happened just now this pillar is now opened and you can see that the train is going how does that work if we look at the sensors well that is not overly complex luckily uh, the sensors are inside of a group sensor so we just have a look inside of this group and what can we see over here first of all uh, a, the signal number seven is opened well that signal is over here so if the request is honored and the control car comes into this group sensor then the, what happens is this signal is opened which means the train can go also uh, junction number eight is switched well uh, that is uh, all the the junctions oh, I cannot move my track all the junctions in the track that need to be set are set in this group sensor and this junction number eight is switched in the right uh, fashion so that we don't have to worry about that anymore yeah and then the next thing that happens uh, junction number 15 and 19 are set again and those are to not to our surprise it resets its own uh, request yeah it is difficult to read over here but uh, uh, junction 15 is this one as you can see that is the one that switches the uh, single lane to it is being occupied and it also resets its own request so this is taking care that the the protection is now active and this uh, protection can be released again this junction 15 with this sensor if the end of the train reaches this sensor then we switch junction 15 uh, the other way around again so that the control mouse goes up into the pillars so actually uh, what happens to summarize if if uh, the control car runs through a group sensor the uh, uh, signal is opened all the junctions in the track that need to be switched are switched and its own request is reset and the single lane is set to occupied that is what happens and that happens uh, exactly the same things happen over here in the other group sensors so let's do it one more time let's uh, have a look uh, the this train will be over here soon and we can in the meantime switch to the other camera do it one more time I will release the north-south train now already well it, it, it's not even here but if it is then you will see that it will go and I will also release the south to north train but obviously because the mouse is not going into the pillars nothing is happening until the end of this train is past this sensor over here uh, so let's wait until that happens that is any second now yeah just well within this second the track will be released yes and now the mouse goes over here yes and this train can go as usual the file of this layout and a word file that describes uh, how it works is uh, available for download with the link in the text that goes with this video see you back at part 3 where we are going to build a more complex layout including both types of control both the random in out control and the um, single track protection control